Austerlitz Pyramid, The Relationship of Pyramids to Free Energy. This publication is considered a media scoop for our page. It may explain a lot to some about the truth about the pyramids. In 1798, during the French campaign against Egypt, French General Auguste de Marmont saw the pyramids of Giza and was greatly impressed by them due to the grandeur of their engineering and their gigantic size. He studied the entire building plan and preserved it. In the year 1804, at the height of his victories, power, and pride, Montu Marmont ordered his soldiers to build a pyramid on one of the highest points on the Utrecht Hill Ridge in the municipality of Woudenberg, the Netherlands. Construction continued for 27 days on top of a 36-meter high hill, but there is something else above the pyramid, a phrase on an obelisk at the top. They claim that the obelisk was built in 1894, but the drawings of ancient artists such as Louis-Pierre Baltar prove that it was built on top of the pyramid in the year 1805, meaning that it was built with the pyramid. The great obelisks, such as those found in ancient Egypt and in the capitals of countries to this day, were not just tall decorative structures or merely religious or satanic symbols as many think, but rather they were on giant antennas to attract ether energy, free electricity, and the evidence was documented in detail in a publication. Washington Monument, free energy at this link. Notice that they buried the pyramid under the dirt and left the obelisk on the surface. The same old mechanism, but only the size differed. The obelisks of the Giza pyramids were huge to match the size of the pyramids. These obelisks were simply on high tension columns like iron in our time, and when looking at the top the tops of the pyramids can be seen on the flat surface where they were removed, and it is not a coincidence that the panels were also removed from the tops of the old houses and cathedrals that we published a lot about. You will also notice for those who follow the dates that the campaign to remove everything related to free energy took place between 1800 and 1900. Unfortunately, the obelisks of the pyramids were also removed so that the world would think that they were just ancient royal tombs. I am sure that if they did not destroy those obelisks, they would most likely be buried in the vicinity of the pyramids, and they would be very huge that could be distinguished once they were seen. For those wondering why? I think the answer is as clear as the noonday sun, until you continue to pay taxes to them, as all of humanity does today, and until they control the world, whoever controls energy controls all areas. Sources with more details in the first comment. Note, we accept all opinions and ideas. We do not care about believers, atheists, pagans. Everyone is welcome, except for mockery and empty confusion without providing arguments, as the one who does it will be banned immediately.